So now you're asking yourself, uh, we've talked about while loops, do whiles, and for whiles. So we've talked about, again, while loops, do whiles, and for loops. Which one do I t choose? Which one do I choose in any given action? Well, here's where we can break things down a little bit. Uh, if we look at the while loop for a second, just understanding what the while loop is going to do. On the very basic level, the while loop will run zero to an infinite number of times. The reason why it will run zero is, again, it's like the if statement. It's going to go to the conditional and it only activate, only go into the code if it's true. If it's false, it just moves on. The do while, the do while says, do the code at least once and run and it run with the possibility of running an infinite number of times. So do the code at least once. I don't know how long it will run. That all depends on the user, the program, you know, out external uh, sources. The for loop. The for loop explicitly is going to run. Uh, the for loop is going to explicitly run in times in times now that means that if I say it's gonna run 10 times it's gonna run 10 times if I say it's gonna run 1 million times it's gonna run 1 million times it does not deviate from that and so we can actually take a look at these things and we can break them down a little further what we can think about is sort of these two guys these are known as in Determinant. Determinant. Indeterminate. Which means I don't know how long they'll run. Again, it's uh, up to external sources. You know, I can design them both to run, you know, 10 times, but it's, again, as the developer, you're doing that. Uh, I can also look at other conditions. Say, for example, I want my program to run. Uh, I'm building a solar generator or something like that. I'm building a solar powered charger, and I only want software to run when there's, you know, the sun out. So while sun out, you know, is going to continue to run. It's just going to continue to run. The second that the sun goes away, stop. Versus the for loop, which is going to say, run five minutes. Run this for five minutes, period. End of statement. I don't care about the sun. I don't. Five minutes. Well, this, this guy, this guy is actually known as determinant. It's the exact opposite. It knows how long it's going to run. It knows explicitly run five minutes. So I, I don't care about the sun. I don't care about, you know, this weird, it might. Uh, stop early. No, it's going to run X number of times or N number of times, period, end of statement, flat, and one dimensional.